Hello, it's me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is the second day of this month of October, and this happens to be the memorial of our guardian angels. And you know, we may call it a feast, but the church officially calls it the memorial of the guardian angels. And from the catechism of the Catholic Church in number 336, we read that besides each believer stands an angel as protector and shepherd leading him to life. Well, that's what the catechism says, uh, says to us. But yet, from the Gospel of, of Matthew, uh, the, ch the 18th chapter, which we could have read today uh, for, for this, uh, for this uh, memorial or feast, it says that as the disciples uh, ask Jesus, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, of course, he places a child in their midst and tells them that unless they, uh, they become like little children, they would not enter into the kingdom of heaven. And of course, he tells them that they, 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 these children, they are angels in heaven, are always looking upon the face of his heavenly father. Wow, imagine that. One, he calls them to humble themselves and be like a child. Children who didn't have any status in that society. But the sense of a child is always the one who is aware of that he or she is dependent on the parent. And as children of God, we have to, uh, to, to take on that sense of being humble before God and realize that we are dependent on the love and mercy and the grace of this God. And also realize that we too, like the child he placed in their midst, we too have those angels, our guardian angels, who look upon the face of God all the time. So we may live lives that many times, sometimes, many days are not lives they would call angelic. But yet, we still have an angel. We have that one, a protector, one who stands beside us to intercede for us before God. What a blessing. Have you ever gone through situations or driving and something tells you to look up or whatever, and you wonder, wow, I, I just survived something. Or something came to mind that just was like, right the right time the right moment sometimes i really think it's our guardian angel who is there to to help us to maybe be attentive maybe to avoid a situation but yes we all have guardian angels now just like we have parents or maybe we have teachers who teach us so many things who help us to, uh, try to direct us in life and we either take the direction we take the lesson or we refuse I don't think the, the guardian angel forces us into being what we don't want to be. But just remember, we have the guardian angel, that protector that stands beside us. What a blessing to know that there is a, a, a connection to God in heaven because of the guardian angel. I also think about my patron saint because, you know, that too, I believe he is in heaven, so praying for me. But again, as we live this life, let us be assured of the God who loves us. And maybe really, we don't even have to so much uh, cling and think about the guardian angel, which is important to know that we have one, because all of us, as children of God, we've been given direct access to this God. Imagine the Lord we receive, the God, our Lord Jesus Christ, we receive in the most holy Eucharist. How could we say that we don't have direct access? But today, on the second day of October, let us think about our guardian angels. And you know, once in a while, uh, we had a teacher when I was in, uh, in primary school who used to tell us that we should behave well so that we do not shame our guardian angel in heaven. I think sometimes we behave in ways that maybe make our guardian angels, what do they say, blush, or maybe just kind of a look away in shame. But I hope today they can be proud of us because we are calling on them to pray for us. We are asking them to continue to stand by us, to protect us. And we are praying that the Lord who has given us that gift of a guardian angel may help us to remain attentive to their, to their um, um, inspirations and motions in us and help us to remain the humble children of God that we are and continue to walk and live faithfully until someday we can meet those guardian angels before our God in heaven. Friends, brothers and sisters, love because you are loved. Amen.